boots on the ground, put it down, get up, get up, get up. I got something to tell you. I don't think they want you to know, but I'm going to tell you anyway. It's best selling researcher Mickey D. I host The Scoop. I want to thank you for joining me. It's a pleasure. It's an honor to be on your electronic device. Thank you very, very much, my friends, for joining me. It is an honor to have you. I know there are many stations out there you can listen to. There are many people that are going to tell you about cannabis, this, cannabis, that. But we are one of the authorities, guys. We've been around for a long time, and we kind of know what's going down, even when it comes to voting. Well, Mickey D, you voted twice? No, this is uh, one uh, early voting, this election, and then another one from the last election. I vote in all the elections. I exercise my rights. That's my problem because I vote for politicians that sometimes do what they say they're going to do. Not very often, but sometimes, guys. But thank you. We like to have fun. We're going to talk a little bit cannabis tonight. I'm going to show you some charts. We're going to do some things, guys. Uh, it's election time. And uh, we're just three days away. And it'll be 2, 1, Tuesday. Before you know it, guys, uh, we will have maybe a new Congress, new Senate in, in America. We'll have a lame duck session which they can pass anything they want to pass. They better pass something or it's going to be some hell coming here in a couple of years. And it still might be a hell coming in a couple of years anyway, uh, because it'll be, you know, we're going to have another showdown, uh, another Biden Trump. And uh, who's to say it won't go differently this time? You never, never know, guys. You never, never know. And uh, we'll see. But what's happening in Canvas? If you're not a subscriber, go ahead and subscribe. We'd love to have you on board. Uh, like and share these videos. You know, some people say, hey, Mickey D, you got the worst videos, man, but you got the best stocks. So, <laughs> you know, you, you got to, you know, I'm not a, a sound guy. I'm not a, you know, a, a, a lighting guy or anything like that. I'm not a Hollywood guy, man. I'm just a, a brother on, the, on YouTube putting it down, you know. I tried to get them to stop, man. I wanted a class of like about a thousand, two thousand and stuff. I tried to get YouTube to uh, to just, you know, eliminate that. But that's not the way they operate. Uh, you guys, some of you have been with me for, you know, years and years. We went through the first big run up, you know, with cannabis. Guys made a lot of money. Some of these stocks went to 50, 60 dollars from real low, low uh, prices. You know, we call them baby knockouts because they're small but they have that little ability to, to take on the competition and do very, uh, very well. Some of you guys bought cars, bought houses. You did what you were supposed to do with your money. You were responsible. And I appreciate that. So except for that guy that made over a million dollars and he was supposed to buy like about 500 books. I think he bought about 30, 40 books. He was supposed to buy 500. He was supposed to put them in the name. You're going to come back because cannabis. when I talk about cannabis, see, people understand. You know, and I understand the game. You know, I've written all kinds of books on it, searched, researched, and done everything on it. So I know what time it is with the cannabis. Anyways, guys, coming up this week, uh, we've got not only do we have the states. In the last video, take a look at the last video, guys, where we're talking about the cannabis uh, uh, election uh, trade, that trade which is reserved for those private students right now. If you want to become a private student, private scoop team member, and get those uh trades early, those baby knockouts early, uh, we can uh, definitely arrange that for you. I'll be talking about a couple of those later when we look at the charts here. But we've got, uh, what, Cure Leaf, True Leaf, uh, Grow Generation, we've got Acreage, we've got Village Farms, we've got Planet 13, we've got uh, Kronos, we got Charlotte, Charlotte's Web. All these companies are reporting this week. Next week, uh, we've got, uh, 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 we got all, kind, all kinds of companies. Juicy Tilt Holdings, $50 million, they may report, and they're trading for $0.10. Cents. Uh, Forefront Ventures, uh, it's all kinds of uh, companies, guys, that are going to be, uh, uh, Terrasin, all kinds of companies that are going to be reporting next week. So uh, this week, between this week and the next 10 days or so, a lot of companies will be reporting. Some of our heavyweights will we'll take a look at. But it, it's, it's going to be a great, great uh, time for uh, cannabis here. If a bill is passed, some of you will be probably millionaires here soon. Uh, we'll talk about that uh, in future time here. But I can tell you unequivocally that I believe with all of my but 19 states 
that already have recreation uh, will be getting some uh, some other additions here. We'll be adding to those 19 states that have recreational uh, cannabis. Uh, I think Missouri has, has a good shot. And you, you, the last video, guys, Missouri uh, is a good shot. Uh, also, uh, you know, Arkansas has a shot. Uh, Maryland has a shot. Uh, South Dakota, North Dakota, uh, you know, they're, they're in the ball game. So we'll see. I think those 19, mm, let's say we'll go over, uh, let's go over 22 or so. What's the over and under on that? I don't know. I live in, you know, I'm in Nevada, you know, you bet on everything. How many chains is Mickey going to wear? There ain't two chains. Maybe one. Yeah. The over is three, right? Uh, the under is, I don't, I don't know. I'm just talking, guys. Just having fun. Uh, anyway. Uh, let me show you some of these these charts, since you guys are going to you guys are going to flip out. There's some good stuff here. We'll have a little intermission, about a minute, minute and a half, some old videos or something. Something you you didn't get a chance to see. You guys didn't go with me when I went to Compton, right? You you didn't you, take a look at that video. What about when I went to all those MedMen? You know, we went to Arizona, we went to Venice Beach, we went to all that. We were those guys, you know, when they start spending that money and having all those parties. And they weren't inviting me to all those parties they were having and buying cars and spending everybody's money and stuff. Oh, wow. They're, those good old days, man. It's only three, four years ago when they were robbing everybody, all these different companies and stuff. And we said these companies were going to zero. And many of them have gone to zero. And we told you exactly how they were spending their money. Anyway, let's take a look at some charts, guys. Uh, if you're not a subscriber, like I said, go ahead and hit subscribe. We'd love to have you on board. You want to get these baby knockouts early. Uh you know, we'll get them to you uh, early. You'll have them weeks, sometimes months uh, in advance. You guys have had the uh, uh, you, the African uranium super trade. They've had it now for over a year or two. And, uh, you know, those stocks, it takes patience, guys. It takes patience. I know this is a what have you done for me lately world, but it takes patience. And uh, we're going to knock them out with this uh, cannabis. Have a little intermission and I'll be back with some charts. Because you, in bear markets, you have these, you know, up and down. But right, my friends, right now in this bear market, we're just going through the flush out. We're just flushing companies out. You know, we I've been telling you about companies that are going to zero. They're to join that zero graveyard, right? The reason I do that, my friends, is because I don't want you to have that dead money. Why if a company tells you they're that they can't continue operations, why would you put your hard earned money into that company, my friend. Fifteen dollars to fifteen cents. But remember, you guys remember the globe.com, the globe.com. No way of making any money. No, th th you know, th that was so ninety-seven dollars. It went to a hundred dollars. It back down, of course, to under ten cents or so. All these stocks are under ten cents, and they're you know not existing anymore. If you took a ride down from a hundred to fifteen cents, you need to be slapped not once but twice. Oh, no, there's not a lot. You're consider yourself blessed. You you you're in the stock market in America, but there are times when we can get burned, just like this building here in the back. You you make the wrong move, or we we sometimes we we do our research, we do our studying, and guess what? We still get burn and we'll have you right each step of the way my friends because trading is tricky and you can lose all your money trading in the stock market my friends IIPR the REIT real estate investment trust innovative industrial properties that stock is still marching forward I mean there's not a lot you know I was waiting for a pullback I didn't think 78 or so so it may have gotten to 77 I don't think that was a good enough pullback on uh, IIPR, so I didn't say anything about it. But I've been waiting every 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, now it's in the 90s. I mean, when is this thing going to pull back, get other companies to buy them out and everything? These companies will not have enough funds to keep their doors open. They won't be able to continue operations. One such example of that is a company that we singled out a while back. And we said they were going to zero. I'd like to read you this article. This is uh, Monday out of uh, Marijuana Business Daily. One of Canada's oldest cannabis uh, producers seeks creditor protection. Today, in the city of Compton. Now, 
I've visited a few areas here, Casey. You'll have the unfair advantage. You have a major advantage. You'll be able to get into companies like IIPR, Innovative Industrial Properties, at like a teenager. It's like $130 now. Um, you, you can get in these companies. Companies like Aurora Cannabis, $0.38. Cents. Companies like uh, uh, Canopy at under $3, my friends. These are companies that we've gotten into really, really super early because we do great research, my friends. I'm here. I'm at the only dispensary on the Las Vegas Strip. Now, once again, the only distri dispensary on the Las Vegas Strip. You can see the people walking, walking up and down the strip. I'm at Essence, which is a property of Green Thumb Industries. Frequent guests here, we're talking Lucille Ball, and we're talking about Al Capone was one of the people that used to frequent this place. Al Capone uh, was, was, this is one of his hangouts. My friends, I talked to some people, I talked to some old schoolers, I talked to some, some really seasoned people here, and I was asking them, I was saying, what would Al Capone do today about uh, organizing and getting things together with CBDs and marijuana and all that kind of stuff? What would Al Capone do today? And there was a consensus pretty much developed amongst people that I've been speaking to in this part of the country. They said, well, Al Capone, in this part of the world rather, they said Al Capone would not have uh, dominated the CBD uh, area, the marijuana area, as he as it was done in some other organized crime areas. Well, it's, it's not a crime to be, uh, some areas it's a crime. I've been oh, see, what you see looking at investing, and look at the, what he's looking at, at the bookstore here. Uh, that's, uh, you've been going to the marijuana classes? No, but he's taking a look at the bookstore here, and take a look at what you see, and uh, there's a lot of little stuff around here. But uh, just wanted, uh, wanted my you guys are having too much fun, man. Let's talk some of this cannabis stuff. P. Diddy, Sean Diddy Combs to buy cannabis operations in New York, two other states for up to $185 million. P. Diddy jumping in the game. You know it's big. Hey, looky, looky, what's going on in cannabis here? Uh, let's take a look. This is Green Thumb Industries, one of the big giants out there. Pure play on cannabis. Uh, let's use the 48-day uh, and let's use the 13-day moving average. 13 crosses over the 48, soft, mid-term, short-term uh, purchase run, or whatever you want to call it. Look what's going on with Green Thumb. Green Thumb is just crossing over. Uh, this stock, like some of the others, may do, uh, may do something. We'll, we'll, we, we don't know yet. We'll see. RSI is 59 for green thumb. Uh, let's take a look at True Leaf. True Leaf is another big uh, cannabis company there. They're doing great work. Uh, Kim Rivers down there in Florida. Uh, as you can see, uh, the 48-day uh, was diving, but the 13-day is right. It's, it could go either way, guys. We could have a run. If, can, if you know, cannabis, you know, we're going to have some states. If there's a clean sweep. Five out of five, which uh, may or may not happen. Uh, we'll see. Some of these stocks could uh, really jump up a little bit. And you know when cannabis jumps, it jumps. What about Cresco Labs? Another big one, right? We're right there. Right there. We got this crossover thing potentially happening. And you guys know when that, like I said, short-term, mid-term buy uh, for some of these cannabis stocks, depending on what happens here, especially in the next 60 days. Because you consider the election on Tuesday, and then you have the lame duck session. So, we'll see. Uh, IIPR has already broken out, the Real Estate Investment Trust. This was a stock, guys, that I talked about in the last video. This thing has beat, you know, the last five years. It has gone up over 400%. This thing has beaten your Amazons. It's beaten your Netflix, you know, your your fang stocks, it's torn them up, man. And this is a cannabis stock. IPR. We in one of the books early on, we this thing was was hot and we uh really, really loved it. Let's take a look at a couple more. What about Planet 13? Our lovely right on the edge right there. Planet 13 could easily go up or it could go down. Uh Planet 13, 49 uh RSI there. Uh what about uh what about let's look at one more. 
What about Tilray? Uh, don't have the chart on Tilray. Let's get a chart on Tilray here. Guys, take a look. Um, Tilray uh, is uh, moving up. Tilray is crossed over. And uh, Tilray will be a big winner here, depending on how things go. Uh, we really, really uh, like Tilray. Uh, I just couldn't resist, guys. This is a uh, uh, bright rock right now. I remember uh, bright rock was like 44 cents or so. It, it's like at 53 cents now, guys, and it's headed up. But it did go down to, you know, I don't know what it is, 35 cents or something like that, 30 cents or something. And uh, I head up here, you know, because we're we're at that spot again. The RSI is 82. We're a little overbought, you know, just a little bit. So, you know, is it going to continue to go up? Uh, I don't know. But uh, uh, all indications are we might need to take a breather and go back down below 50 cents before we head back up. And I'm, I'm being nice because I know these guys on Twitter. Uh, who's this guy? I don't even put your name up there. You're talking about character. If you tell people to sell, that's bad character. You're a bad guy. You have poor form because you tell your... <laughs> Shut up. Man, if you, this, is, this is a business. Man, we out to make money. I'm out to make... See, see, people like that, oh, man, they... Oh, you just don't know, man. They, oh, it's all good, though, because I'm looking out for my subscribers, man, and they know I'm down. I'm not going, I'm not going to lead you in, please, Bright Rock, Bright Rock, I know my brothers and sisters up in Canada and all over the world can't get it because it's a United States OTC stock, but let me tell you what's going on right now. Not only is Tesla not not only is Tesla going to do its thing by having a refinery in Texas, but there's a lot of other companies. And BrightRock has more lithium than the law allows. It's got miles of it, guys. Read those reports early. We scooped this company out early. 10 cents, 12 cents, 15 cents. Get in where you fit in, guys. I got a cousin right now, never traded before in his life. I opened up an account when I was out there and my mom was sick and we did all that research on this company. Up over 250% or so already. But see, when you start early like this, guys, and get jump on these things, you think this is the way life is in, you know, in, in stock, and it's really not. But I'm proud of all of you. Congratulations to all of you that are up to 300. We got a long, long way to go, guys. A long way to go with Bright Rock Gold. Get in where you fit in. I'll tell you the same thing I told my private students. Patriot Battery Metals right now is correcting. You can see it's crossed down. Uh, we can still go down a little way with Patriot. 39 RSI, we can still go down. It's a strong stock because they have great assets and great management, but it can still go down a little bit on the lithium side. One more cannabis stock. Couldn't resist. Couldn't resist. Let's take a look at High Tide, guy. H-I-T-I on the uh, uh, NASDAQ there. Uh, High Tide, mainly uh, they have all those dispensaries. What, about 140 or so in uh, Canada? And they'll be moving into the U.S. They'll be doing their thing. You can see they're, they're primed and ready right now. Uh, you know, right around at 52-week low. Uh, it's been as much as uh, off the charts here. About $8 uh, is the 52-week the high. Uh, this company is making <laughs> a grip. Uh, their last reported earnings, I believe, was about $95 million, you know, for the quarter. And uh, for this stock to be a dollar, uh, you know, 40 cents or so USD uh, is criminal in my uh, uh, estimation. Uh, I remember back in the day, uh, uh, me and Izzy, a classic, uh, he's a longtime a uh, listener, a uh, great uh, investor in uh, cannabis. Uh, he was one of the ones, uh, Mark, a lot of people saw this thing uh, coming and uh, we were arguing 
uh, about it going over 10 cents and 12 cents. I remember uh, arguing with, with him. We're not arguing. We, we don't argue. We debate because uh, he's a, a uh, uh, you know, these guys are, know their stuff. So uh, we talk about it. And um, uh, this is one of the ones that uh, I'm going to, uh, uh, I own uh, shares of High Tide now, but I'm going to uh, really uh, consider, uh, you know, locking uh locking up a subside, substantial uh size of, of this high tide i love it and we'll see a lot of earnings coming out guys keep an eye ladies and gentlemen on these earnings cannabis companies are making money people are not going to stop doing what they do the cbds they love the cannabis they love there are some some uh brands out there right now that are emerging. Guys, these are going to be sweeping not only the country, they're going to be sweeping the world. Uh, it's happening right now. Cannabis is front and center. We'll see what happens legislatively. Uh, it starts at the ballot box, and we will definitely see how that goes. But uh, you guys take care of your family. Have a great, wonderful weekend. Love you. God bless you. Take care.